Hello everyone. Well, as many of you, I guess, guys have faced different, different errors and different problems while playing the PS 2015 and many of you also asked me how to fix the crashes, the lags, etc. So I decided to make this video in order, as I hope, to cover all these problems and give you guys the best tricks as far as I know. I have few tricks to decrease the lagging especially for old PCs like mine so let's start with the first one so you right click on the shortcut you open file location then you go to settings here, double click. So as you can see, I'll show you first the specifications. So as you can see, it tells me that it's impossible to play the game with this graphic card, which is, as I told you, the Intel HD with only 128 megabytes. So, well, nothing is impossible, at least for this graphic card so I will show you the tricks go to display uh, sorry this is the French version so it will be display here and you, you need to choose the full screen but you need to change the resolution of the game so as you can see there are many different resolutions so if you have a good PC with good specs then you can choose high resolutions but for my poor PC I will choose this one which is 800-600 so if you have a very very old PC then you can choose these and this one exactly the last one which is 640-880 and then so let's go back to mine click and then you click ok but the, that's the first trick the second trick is sometimes uh, when you play the game you can see that when whenever they play there are too many legs and that's caused especially when you score a goal you'll see that uh, it's lagging too much and that's caused by the crowd supporting your both teams so there is a, a very intelligent I would say program it's very uh, light I'll leave the link of this program in the description below and this will enable or disable the crowd in the PSK I'll show you how it works so when you download this file you can place it here on your desktop to make it easy for you to access it so you need to make sure to run as administrator so right click and click on run as administrator and when you click that so you need to open this file click on it now you need to go to the install location of your PS game. It's usually C C driver. So let's go to C driver. Then go to program files and search for PS 2015. Here it is. Pro Evolution Soccer 2015. Double click. Then you go to data. Double click and here it is you can double click on that or just click open so as you can see there are two uh, there are two options so whenever you want to enable the crowd once again you can click on enable so for now you need to disable the crowd you click on that 
and as you can see crowd has been disabled okay so uh, no it's not a very good feature to play a match with an empty stadium but this will it will give you more performance and more fps for your game so you can do this trick if you want be sure to to download this file from the description below well that's the second trick now I have the third trick which is very very important guys so right click once again on that shortcut click on properties then you go to compatibility as you can see here click on change settings for all users and when you click on that so as you can see here check the rest except the first one don't check that first one okay this will make the game very the colors I mean very very bad so make sure to check these and accept the first one and when you do this click on apply then okay and then okay and now you'll see that uh, whenever you launch the game the resolution will change to, to give you more FPS and more performance for the game so uh, the last trick and which is very recommended uh, as well there are two uh, softwares or programs as we want these I really really need very much for each specific game I have on my PC these are very essential guys and uh, I will show you their their benefits. So, first one. Uh, so I will leave this in the description below the the links of the download for these two programs. And make sure to download and install these programs. And when you install, you will start with the jet clean. So double click on jet clean. So basically, this is a cleaning program like a cleaner and many other programs so it will be like this almost so basically this will clean the registry of your pc the windows the apps the shortcuts and the ram so it's very easy and you just click on that on this arrow here and click scan and repair and once you click on that it will automatically start uh, searching for problems and for unnecessary files uh, hidden in your system so basically the more you store on your pc the more it will make uh, your pc ineffective and uh, it will decrease the performance which will cause the crashes and uh, lags for the game so at least i recommend you guys to use this program once a week so try if you, if you want of course you can try it every day or to every two days but at least uh, once every week you need to clean your PC from the the, uh, the unnecessary files and unnecessary stuff that causing too many problems for your PC so as you can see it's now search automatically for these necessary things well I have scanned my PC last uh, last hour I guess so there are a few problems actually that's for you it will, it will find too many problems and the best feature of this program uh, I didn't find it in too many others uh, cleaning programs which is the RAM clean so this is the best feature of this program this will uh, as you can see here optimize memory usage to increase available physical memory this will clean the ram processes and will make your ram fresh so i uh, hope you will find this very useful i guess and i'm sure it will help you a lot so once you're done you can close that program and now we'll go to the second which is the jet boost. Double click on that jet boost. 
so after you install it as well double click and here we go so first you need to go to customize and for, with the processes you need to check the and necessary processes uh, before starting your game so for example I need this which is the recording program and I need this one which is the driver of my mouse basically the rest I don't need while playing but make sure the guys don't worry these uh, these processes will run back when you restore after playing your game so now you need to find which programs uh, which processes your PC doesn't need when playing so when you're done with processes you go to surfaces so for the surfaces uh, as you can see all of these are Microsoft services that you don't need when you are playing your game so make sure to check all of these uh, services now go to non window services check check them all as well then go to other and here as you can see check these four except the explorer and uh, make sure guys don't check that because that will uh, disable the the bar here and the shortcut so you cannot access your PC so make, make sure you keep that explorer and check and when you're done you can click on boost to start boosting your PC so but before doing this let me show you the the real effect of this program so when you go to your test manager as you can see here when you go to processes so as you can see too many processes running on my PC 50 process, processes uh, 46 CPU usage 35% physical memory so and when I will click on that boost you will see the difference so it's going to the classic mode of the PC of the Windows to increase more FPS and to increase more performance for your PC. This is very helpful. And uh, you will notice the lighting is different. So, as you can see here, 9 processes stopped, 23 servers stopped, and the performance is increased by, 30, by 44%. And if you want to check, the task manager once again you'll see only 33 processes running and the physical memory is reduced as you can see here 28 percent so this is very good feature of this program and you can see here the, the use of memory is decreased as well which will give more ram and more cpu usage to, to your PS 2015 games. That's the and when you're done with playing game, you can restore that by clicking restore, and everything will go back to its normal original state. As you can see here, it's going back as it was before. So as I told you, this is the the best boosting program and also it's for, for free so make sure to use this program especially if you have low PC performance in order to play with more FPS so now we done this program well that's it for this video I hope I covered all, almost all the problems and errors for the PS 2015 I hope that the, my solutions will work for you, they work for me, so I hope this will work for you as well. And if there are any other errors or problems, just uh, let me know and I'll try my best to help you guys. So that's it for this video, hope to see you soon, peace.